Hey everyone and welcome back to another Whole Foods Wednesday. So this week I would say that I have a medium sized haul. It's not too small but it's not too big and I wanted to make a quick announcement and just let you guys know that I will be doing a 100% vegan haul coming up sometime within the next two to three weeks or so. So definitely look for that on my channel. And I also wanted to say that if you hear something in the background, it's more than likely the air conditioning. Um, it's like 90 degrees outside and I just don't want to open the windows. So yeah, the air conditioning's in the background. So let's get right into this haul. So the first thing I got is this Columbia River Organics spinach. And we are having stuffed chicken cutlets. Um, maybe not today, but maybe tomorrow or the next day just because I wasn't able to get the chicken because they didn't have the cutlets that I needed. So I picked this up to go inside. I got Trader's Port Creamery Whole Milk Yogurt and this was made with 100% grass fed milk. I got two of these Ezekiel Low Sodium Breads. This is the Sprouted Green Bread, Food for Life. I got Nature's Rancher 100% grass-fed organic ground beef, and this is 85% lean, 15% fat. And the reason that I got this package kind is because they didn't have step four or five of like the Whole Foods one. So I picked this one up, and this one actually is step four. And of course, it's less expensive, so that's nice. And I actually haven't noticed a difference between this type of ground beef and the regular store packaged one but I would say that if you're making spaghetti and meatballs which I am going to be making this week um, this one is actually my preferred one because the way that it's ground it's ground like a little more fine than the other one so it's really easy to make those meatballs as well as probably hamburgers although I haven't tried it yet I got organic parsley and organic green onions. I got 365 breadcrumbs, Italian style. And I got two of my favorite kinds of boxed rices, and this is the Whole Grain Blends Brown Rice Pilaf by Near East, and these are really, really good. They cook relatively fast, and it's really good to have something that you can just use as a really quick side. So I got two of these because the Whole Foods that I usually go to doesn't have them always, so I picked these up while I was at a different Whole Foods. I got 365 Rand Organic Linguini, and this is for when we have spaghetti and meatballs. And I got two of these 365 brand organic whole peel tomatoes. I picked up one Asian noodles teriyaki noodle soup bowl and this is by Dr. McDougalls and I actually had one of these yesterday for lunch because I couldn't find anything in the refrigerator so I had one of these and I just wanted to restock and get another one in case there's ever another day that I just can't find anything have for lunch. I got one garlic bulb and I got two different kinds of seasonings. This one is the 365 brand organic black pepper. This is ground and this is the garlic granules. I got 365 brand organic tomato paste, no salt added. And I got Asian meals, truly Asian Malaysian ginger spring onion noodle rice noodle soup bowl. And again, same thing with this one. I just want to have these like on hand in case anybody needs like a really quick lunch or if Sal wants to bring those to work, he's more than welcome to. And I got Driscoll's raspberries because these were at the front of the store and they looked really, really good. And you guys probably remember that in my last two hauls, I mentioned that I was making parfaits. And for some reason, I wasn't able to get a picture of those. I guess I just forgot and just dug in way too quickly. So I'm going to be making parfaits again. And then I'll post a picture onto Instagram like I was going to. And just show you guys what those looked like. They were so, so good. And I got Whole Foods 
organic baby romaine lettuce. And I've mentioned before that this actually was not my favorite type of lettuce like that comes in the boxes or bags but I used to like the other one I think it was 365 romaine salad I've been getting that for the past few weeks and the reason I'm not getting that anymore is because it didn't last at all like I would put it in the refrigerator and then I'd go to have it in like two to three days and it just wasn't good it was all brown and gross so I'm gonna be buying this from now on I just feel that in the box it saves better than in the bag so this is my new favorite one and I've had this one before it's really good I just like the other one a little bit better but it's okay I got 365 frozen blueberries and these are for the parfaits I got these for the parfaits that we had on Memorial Day but again I wasn't able to take a picture of it but I got these again so I can recreate them I got organic valley six grade a organic large brown eggs and these are free range and i just feel like making chocolate chip cookies today so that's why i got those and sal can take them to work tomorrow and then i got fat free ricotta cheese and this is for the stuffed chicken cutlets and again for that i also got feta cheese crumbles and as always, anything that I make, I do post pictures of it onto my Instagram usually, except for the parfaits because I forgot to. But I will be posting a picture of these whenever I make them. I do have to go back for the chicken, though. I got Urban Roots Organic Diced Onion. And I always get these anytime I'm cooking just because it saves so much time. And I got a vitamin water. This is Zero Squeeze Lemonade. And I actually got two of these, but I just drank one, so I only have one left. And I should mention that I wasn't able to get my Inko's cheese. I was so disappointed, but I went to another grocery store that we have in town, and they had, like, a whole line of them, although they weren't all organic, which was a bummer. But I picked up, like, 15. I'm kind of addicted, as you can probably tell. I got Happy Valley Organic Dill. And I got my favorite chips. Ever. These are the 365 baked non chips and green chili chutney. We already went through the other ones just because there's not that many in the bag. You guys can probably tell that it's probably only half full. And I pack them for Sal for work, and his co workers always steal them, so we're always running out. So that's why I got another one. And finally, I got two frozen meals to have on hand for after I work out sometimes because sometimes I feel really lightheaded. Like yesterday, after I worked out, I was just not feeling well. But, yeah, I got Amy's Light and Lean Pasta and Veggies. And this one's really good. I wouldn't eat it, like, every single day. But here and there, it's fine to treat yourself. And this is another Amy's Light and Lean Spaghetti Italiana with meatless meatballs. And that's it. So here is everything that I got. And in total, everything was $106.69. So as I mentioned before, I will be doing a full vegan haul coming up within the next few weeks. And that was requested, so that's why I'm going to do that. And I'm really looking forward to it. And as always, I will leave a link to my Instagram down below so you guys can check that out. I post pictures of everything from my everyday life to like cooking and the different things I talk about making and these Whole Foods hauls from the items I buy at Whole Foods. So please check that out. And I will see you guys here next week. Happy shopping. Bye.